Hi, I'm Dottie Morrison, and I'm here with George Waters from the Photo Club to invite you to participate in this year's Shell Point Photo Contest. Hey, George. Good morning, Dottie. Good How are to you see today? you. Are we excited about this? We are. We are really excited. And by the way, uh, what was the best part of last year's Shell Point contest? Well, you know, since we changed to the digital format right. and did the gala in the Grand Cypress with the big screen, everyone was looking at the same photo at the same moment. And you could just hear reactions all around the room to the, to the emotion you were feeling. Right. And then, of course, when the winners were announced and you got to see that again and you could connect the, winner, the winning ribbon with this wonderful photo, I just felt it was an extra special experience. It was, and I, ex I was impressed by that excitement as well and the drama associated, well, who is going to be the best of show, et cetera, that right, sort of thing. Right, right. It was very interesting. Yeah, so what we're here today to do is to motivate everyone, not just our photo club members, but every resident to participate in this year's photo contest. Yes, and uh, as we have each year, we have manipulated the little changes in the the categories a right. little bit to yes. be a little creative and give yep. people opportunities that they haven't had in the past. Mm -hmm. And the categories this year are people, travel, still life, birds, and other wildlife. Two separate categories. Two separate categories. Yep. Mm -hmm. Architecture, mm -hmm. reflections, and the last two categories are similar as well. Landscape, and botanical. Mm -hmm. Landscape would be a, an outdoor uh, vista with uh, either close up or a wide angle mm -hmm. and botanical would be like a particular flower or plant uh, closer up. Right, so we've taken the scenery category from last year right. and split it so if you can get close to something that's going to be botanical, something that's living. If it's scenery it could be mountains, it could be lakes, it could be deserts, it could be um, houses, it sure. could be a golf course, right. uh, it, something that's a little bit broader. Broader. Right, exactly. And of course, if someone has a question about which category it goes into, mm -hmm. um, we'll be happy to help them with that. Exactly. Yeah. So, how uh, explain how people can get information and enter into the uh, contest? Okay, so our photo club members have mm -hmm. already received the information and they're looking at it and looking through their pictures. Uh, p residents who are not members can go to I any of the concierge desks mm -hmm. starting Friday, February 8th, yes. and pick up a form. It'll be a paper that will tell the categories you've just listed. It will also give my name because every entry needs to be uploaded to a website that the photo club pays, pays to use and it needs to be done through our board members in the photo studio. Right. And so we, they just need to call me and the number is there. My number is 239-337-4015 if someone wants to call earlier and get some information. But we're happy to have anyone who is a resident participate. So what kind of help can the photo uh, club members offer people who need to uh, upload? Okay, we'll do anything from you've got the picture, it's all edited like you want it to be, you've got a title, you're ready to hand it to us, you hand it to me in the photo club, we put it onto our computer, we right. upload it, it's done. Mm -hmm. Or, on the other end of that, you have a photo you took on your cell phone, mm -hmm. You don't know how to get it off the cell phone. I'll help you with that. <laughs> You've got a picture on a memory card or a right. flash drive, right. and you don't know how to straighten that that mm -hmm. line that's the horizon, right. or you, you've got something over here that's a little too dark, you want to help lightening that? Right. I'll help them do some light editing. Yeah. And last year, people who had never done that process were just amazed at how a picture that was good could be even better. Sure, absolutely. So uh, should we mention the dates of the contest and or how to make an appointment? Yeah, so starting on the 8th, I'll start taking phone calls. Uh, the appointments in the studio will begin on February 21st. Mm -hmm. And the last date for entries is March 9, right. March 9. Now, if somebody's going to be out of town, they can call me ahead of time, we'll make arrangements. Sure. But pretty much a two-week period there for getting those entries into the website where our judges can then look at them. Right. And between March the 9th and uh, March the 25th, 
the uh, which is the contest itself. Right. The judges will look at the uh, the pictures right. and go through that process. Yep. And speaking of judges, there are going to be three judges this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have traditionally had a single judge, mm -hmm. but the biasness, uh, inadvertent or on purpose of a single judge, right. uh, gets carried forward. So we're hoping the three judges will average out and we'll get a better uh, a better result. Right. So. Uh, yep. Give us a reminder about that March date, and uh, because everybody needs to plan. Last year we had a full house, and so we need to for really the gala. plan for yes. the So for the, the gala contest. is March 25th. We'll be back on Shell Point TV closer to time talking about that in March. But right now, um, mark that on your calendar. If you're a photographer and submit a picture, you automatically get two tickets, one for yourself and one for a spouse or friend. Right. If you are not a participant, we still want to have you. We just want to make sure all the photographers who might get ribbons are there. And so after the entries are done on March 9th, then all the concierge desks will be given the extra tickets of the 150 that are available. Sure. And last year we had a lot of people that were not participants, but they wanted to see it. We'll also be at that time telling how, how people who can't come to the gala can view the entire evening. We did this last year. People love seeing it in uh, on their on their TVs at home and right. on their computers at home. Exactly. So we'll explain that a little bit more closer sure. to time. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we hope all of you will consider entering if you're a photographer. If not, encourage your friends who are photographers to give me a call. Uh, we'd be happy to have you at the Photo Club in February. We'll be talking about the uh, contest as well. So um, give us a call and get in there and participate.